60 Florida Keys artists will be exhibiting and auctioning off their work at the Anne McKee Artist Fund Fine Art Auction that will be taking place this weekend. Now this not-for-profit fund has awarded $180,000 since 1994 to support projects by artists and young emerging talent. Roberta, thank you for being on this morning. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. All right. This is something that you guys put on every year, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's an annual um, fundraiser that the Ann McKee Artist Fund does to help raise money to provide emerging artists with some grant money to help them start their careers. Tell me a little bit about who Ann McKee is. Ann McKee is a Canadian who moved to, down to the Florida Keys, and she saw a need for art emerging artists as when she was president of the Monroe Council of the Arts. Mm -hmm. And so she decided she wanted to start this fund and came up with the fine art auction, asked artists to donate work. 50% of the money goes back to the artists from the auction and 50% of what their proceed is goes back into the fund. Mm -hmm. And that's how we raise the money each year in order to award the grant process for the next year. And I mentioned it just a, a minute ago that $180,000 has been raised since 1994. Yes. That's, that's incredible. Yes, I know. It really is. And, um, you know, so we're hoping for a good turnout this mm -hmm. year with lots of bidding, lots mm -hmm. of high prices so that we can award more grants this year. Well, it sounds like you have a great lineup of artists. Could you just go through a few of the names? Sure. We've got some great artists, not only that are locally known, but also internationally collected. Uh, Perry Arnold, Christine Black, We've got Sean P. Callahan, who Sean actually is going to be doing a free pet portrait demonstration this weekend mm -hmm. at the Key West Women's Club on Saturday at 1 o'clock, so you can come on down and learn how to paint your pet. Okay. Uh, we've got Christine Cordon smith uh, Fran Decker, Margot Ellis. We've got Jane Gilbert, Tony Gravery, J.B. Hunt, Joe Jackson, one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. We've got Sandy Castor, who is a 2012 grant recipient, Stephen Lapeer, Rita Linder, John McIntosh. Um, we've got Michael Palmer, Jim Salem, uh, Bill Welch, Jim Sherrington. So there's quite a, you know, that's just a sampling of who the 60 artists are. But special this year is Jim Salem. We're honoring Jim Salem with the Miriam B. Good Award. Mm -hmm. And he's been on the board. He was on the board, one of the original board members, and he was instrumental in getting the 50-50 split with the artists and the fund. Oh. So we'll be honoring him this year. So we're happy about that. And we have some of his work behind us this morning along with William Welch, two of my favorite artists. Mm, great. Why is it so important to continue doing this auction each year? I, I think it's really important because the young artists, you know, sometimes you just need that extra, you know, $1,000 or $500 in order to buy a kiln so you mm -hmm. can make your, your pottery or you want to have an art opening but you don't have the money to pay for the framing. So, you know, we're able to give away that kind of money to help you so that you can see your vision in the future. And I know Fran Decker was telling me the other day that she donated 13 years ago she was not a known artist at the time. The woman bought her artwork, told her friends. She started selling more artwork. And because of that, she is now a known yeah. artist, mm -hmm. all because of the Ann McKee Art Fund. Wow. So a lot of names then can come out of yes. this auction yes. as well. Well, and, and the fund just right. in general. Yes. Well, I hope that this continues for many, many more years. And is Thank it you. an all-day event? Uh, it is the preview for the artwork is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the Key West Women's Club, which is at 319 Duval Street, and that's open from 10 until 7 p.m. Saturday evening, we're having a Meet the Artist preview party from 530 to 730, so you can come meet all the artists and see their artwork. Then the auction itself is on Sunday evening across the street at the oldest house. Mm -hmm. It uh, starts at 6, uh, the auction with uh, Charlie Bate. Bailey Gates mm -hmm. uh, out of New Hampshire will be doing the auction. It starts at 7 p.m. It's $30 to get in the door, and uh, then you get your paddle, and you can bid high. We've got heavy hors d'oeuvres uh, catered by Small Chef at Large, and we've got an open bar. Wonderful. Well, definitely so. do not miss this event. Thank you so much for being on this morning. I hope You're it's welcome. a great turnout. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you there. And everybody, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you can join me back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone.
it'll be okay.